Greetings, this is M squared, and we are going to find another point on the line. They've already given us a point and a slope. And so there's two ways to do that. You can either graph the point and then use the slope to graph some more points and pick one of those points for your point. Or I'm going to, well, I'll do that first and then I'll show you a different way. So let's graph this point. Negative 2, 3, so I go left 2, up 3, and there's my point. My slope is 2. Remember that slope is rise over run. So that's 2 over 1, up 2, right 1. They're both positive, so I go up and right. Now they're also, remember how two negatives make a positive, so if I went down and left, I'd find similar points, I mean points on the same line. So here's my line, and so I just pick one. This is the point they gave us right here, so any of those other points that I graphed, I can write. So this one's 1, 5, negative 1, 5. This one's negative 3, 1. Any of those work. They're just asking for one. But let's say you didn't have a piece of graph paper handy. You can still do the problem. What you need to remember is that this deals with, the top of the slope deals with y's, the change in y, and the bottom of the slope deals with the change in x. That's what that little delta means. It's the change in y, that triangle. We say that delta y or the change in y over the change in x. So what I want to do is I want to add 2 to my y-coordinate and I want to add 1 to my x-coordinate. So if I do that, I can find another point on my line. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. And you'll see that that matches up with the one we found. We could also have subtracted 2 from both if you wanted to. If you had subtracted, I mean subtracted 2 and subtracted 1. Subtract. Um, if we had done that, we would have gotten this other um, this other point that we found because if 3 minus 2 would be 1 and negative 2 minus 1 would be negative 3. So let's try this one. We use a different color on my little graph. So 4, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's my point. My slope is negative 1 fourth. Now it doesn't matter if you use the negative on the top or on the bottom. Either one will work. This one means down one right four. This one means up one left four. So I'll show you if I go up one and left four, or if I go down one and right four. It's not that I get to the same point, but I am on the same line. So I can pick either one of those points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, six works. And also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 8 works. But let me show you a way to do it without the graph paper. Again, I have to choose a negative, so I'll just put it on the top. That means for y, I'm going to minus 1, and for x, I'm going to add 4. And when I do that, 7 minus 1 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8. And you'll notice that I got the same point on the graph, too. That's good that we got that, because it is the same. So either way, you can graph it, or you can use the slope. So let me just turn this little piece of paper over and we'll do this next one. So this time they gave us a point, a slope, but they also tell us exactly what x coordinate they want our point to have. So let's graph it. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. There's our point. And we have to find out, this is kind of our goal, we have to find out where that line goes up there. Where it touches this line. So we got a slope of 2. So we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, we continue to go until we reach the x-coordinate of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that means I'm at 2, 9. Now the other way to think about that, because that kind of was a little, took a little longer. The other way to think about it is what do I have to do to go from negative 4 to 2, because we want to end up at 2. Well, I would have to add 6. That's what I would have to do. Well, if my slope is 2, that means I'm adding 2 to y and 1 to x. Well, how many 1's do I have to add to get 6? Six? 6. Well, if I'm adding, if I'm doing this 6 times, adding 1 6 times. Then I have to add 2 6 times to the y-coordinate. Well, that's a 12. So I would add 12. 
and when I add 12 to negative 3, I get 9, which is the same point we had over here. So some people like to do the graph better, some people just like to say, oh, how many would I have to go up and then do the same, or up or over, and do the same thing to the x and the y. So good luck with that. M squared, signing out.